Shalom, que pasa, buenos dias, my aloha, bonjour, ciao, welcome to my channel, Cowboys Hippie Life, just doing a little reading this morning, you know, just been really thinking about a lot, you know, how really the evil one has this hoodwink that really all we got to do is just sit and believe and Christ is going to, you know, he's going to do everything, but that's not what the word says, and I just want to say right here, because where where is Christ right now? He's did his part. And as it says right here in Psalm 110, right here, it says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. And then over here in this book, what does he say? It says, But this man, after he had, this man, okay, after he had offered one sacrifice for sins forever, he sat down. At the right hand of God, and from that time on, he is waiting until his enemies are made a footstool. So if he defeated all the enemies, why is he waiting on his enemies to be defeated? Okay? I mean, I, I can't, you can't make it up. Here's another witness right here. Here he is. He's the high priest, and he's sitting at the right hand of the throne. And he's waiting on those brothers who come together, as it says in Acts 2 and 4, they come together, they sell all their possessions because they get baptized with the Holy Spirit. Uh, nobody says nothing that is their own. I mean, and, and you know, they're just unselfish. They're laying down their lives. They, they saw how their pride and ego... And all that was just all about themselves the whole life. And that's what they did. Then they trusted God in men that were put in authority over them. Because, see, that's what God wants us to give up. That's what our king wants us to give up is uh, our, uh, our own personal authority to be surrendered to God through our brother. Okay? And trust whatever comes about, that's what God is letting come about because evidently we need lessons or, or things like that. And you had to trust, man. Uh, these people had to trust. And they, they would take 50 people and, you know, says, hey, vote amongst yourselves. Put somebody in charge. You know, take 10 men over here. That's your little work crew. These people do the yard work. These people keep the house up. These people do the food. Because really their life, once they came together, it evolved around food and fellowship. Growing food together and things like that. They just weren't complete bums. You know, but they cared for one another. They held jobs. They went fish to pay the king's tax and those things like that. But they did it together as a group and they worked out their issues, you know, every day before the sun went down, you know, as it talks about in James and John, you know, that's who he's talking about. You know, when you come through the various trials, the fiery trials, it talks about right there is. Why you don't want to do something for your brother? Oh, I don't want to go and do this today. I want to do this. And, and, but God said, all your brothers are going, hey, no, you got to do this. So you have to get up on the cross and die to yourself and go day and night and live for your brother, which is actually, that's your sacrifice to God, showing that you really love God and his creation. But because blessed is the man who endures the temptations that wants you to go and live for self. And you're going to receive the crown. You could be wearing a diadem right now. Okay. But Christ is waiting for the enemy to be defeated. I can't make that up. I know some of your poor little hearts is just, you, 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 you know, you're so buffaloed by what these Babylonian priests have ministered to us that y'all are, are afraid to really just see what's in the word. It says he's sitting there waiting for the enemies to be defeated. So if you're a warrior, drop your vanity pride. Go and live day and night for your brother. Let's build the stone kingdom, family. Much love. Peace in. Stay strong, warriors. Come together. Drop your vanity ego. Make the enemies the footstool. That's what he's waiting on. He's waiting on the bride to make herself ready okay 
That's what we're all looking for, the marriage of the Lamb, right? For the marriage of the Lamb has come. His wife has finally made herself ready. Woo-hoo. She gets the fine linen. Much love. Peace in, fam.